How's it going, everyone? This isn't shit, is it? This is fucking awesome. Thank you for being here, man. to be here, man. Missy and I are kind of pinching ourselves. It's not often that you get to, uh, to uh, play at this iconic location. 
and with like all the iconic bits like right in your face. Usually we're like, we have our backs to it all, but right now we got the house, we got Luna Park, we got the bridge. We're feeling pretty spoiled. Lucky, lucky people. So before we go any further, we'll plant our feet firmly in the ground for a second. And I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this sacred land that we're upon tonight. To the Eora Nation, whose land we're upon tonight. I'd like to pay my respects to their ancestors, past and present, to each and every one of you. And all the old people down your line, down your line, down your line, down your line. We brought you here to this space and time. We stand on the shoulders of our ancestors and we're happy. We're so happy and feel so blessed that you're here tonight. Thank you for being here, folks.
next song is called Faith and uh, it's a pre-warning this is not this is not like a Scientology moment so you know don't worry it's okay but uh, it's just a little song about me trying to work out where I am in this matrix of a uh, multi-dimensional oneness that I don't really understand and uh, you know some people find their place with the white dude with the white beard and the white cloud some find it with more kind of slightly rotund, bald, big eared, beer you know, big ear lobed kind of riddle maker. You know, says all kinds of cool shit that kind of sinks in as the years go on. You're like, yeah, you're onto something. Some find it through hugging trees. Some find it through, you know, uh, taking magic mushrooms. <laughs> Some find it in an Elvis. Some believe that Elvis will come back one day and save us all. Who fucking knows? I don't. I don't. But when I look up, sometimes I feel that maybe it's a little bit more than just, than just all about my own busyness. That maybe, maybe there's something that connects us all in some weird way and that we're not all so different than we think we are. And all I really know, I don't know much, but it's not worth bombing each other for. This song is called Home. Faith.
I've gone without I know my greatest sins are all of my doubts And all the fear that corrodes my soul
How's everyone feeling out there? You all right? Yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Well, we're gonna change it up for our next couple few songs and take you on some other rides for a second. And I would like to uh, invite a very special guest on the stage if you, would, if you wouldn't mind. Can you give it up for the wonderful, the amazing, uh, the beautifully voiced and amazing songwriter. Can you give it up for Miss Missy Higgins, y'all? Turning the volume up. Now let's play our very rehearsed song. Yes, extremely rehearsed. <laughs> it's a, this is a little uh, number 
that I wrote a while ago, and I, I was talking to Missy today, going, look, I'm shit at learning other people's songs. It takes me ages. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loser, baby. So why don't, so why don't you kill me? <laughs> and, um, and so Missy, Missy said well, she'll sing one of my, my songs. And this is a song I usually sing with my wife. So my wife is in New Zealand at the moment, and she's really pissed off at Missy right yeah, now. Yeah, sorry, Daniel. <laughs> I'm cutting your lunch. Anyway. We did this about, uh, about I reckon, all up, about two times backstage. So the mm. third time lucky, I reckon. I've got the lyrics, which is very unprofessional of me. No, but that's I, all right. I really... I mean, really... Can I just ask you one question? Yeah. Who's doing this bit? I, do you do the... But do I harmonise or do you do... Do you harmonise on that bit? I just sing what I normally sing and you harmonise. I don't know what you normally sing. I learned this five minutes ago. All right. Literally, this is, this no. is, this is what... You, know, you guys love this shit, don't you? You love it when we, when we don't know what we're doing. Yes! But for us, it scares the fuck out of us, okay? So have some Language, sympathy. Language, John. There are children in their audience. Are there sim- oh, they're kids. I'm sorry, kids. I'm really fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a 16 year old and a 12 year old, I'm allowed, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this, I get it. You get it? Yeah. <clears throat> we could always talk about it in the middle as well, we can break this down. We can stop. And yeah, we, we can, can stop, we can talk about yeah. it. They'll love it, they mm. just, they like it when we fuck up, it's <laughs> On cool. On stage therapy session. There's a couple things. There's a couple things and all the hoo-ha and all the, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the scrolling and all what you think you want and what you think you need. There's only a couple things you need. Love and family. That's all you need. You can throw all the rest away and be quite happy, actually. Despite what they want to sell you and tell you. The song's called Losing You. things 
Play you a play you a song that uh, I thought I wouldn't be playing here. I thought I'd be playing it across across the bay over there, out front of Luna Park. The idea was when I was busking was to uh, I had this trolley. It was a really nice trolley, but it had like solid tires. And the dream was one day to to make it big and get a trolley with inflatable tires. And then in my Mad Max kind of like post army kind of headspace, I was like, and then I'll strap a swag to it and a water tank and a flint and a knife. <laughs> and then I'll just, I'll hitch across the Nullarbor Plain and I'll play out in front of there. And, and uh, shit didn't go according to plan at all. It was, uh, it was, it, it turned out a lot better, and I like it when things don't go according to plan, but turn out to be totally, 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 totally better. This is completely surreal. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you all how much, uh, we're all so thankful that you guys came and are doing the, this with us. Thank you so much. Can we give it up one more time for uh, the opening next tonight, Stella Donnelly, y'all? And one more time, one more time for the lovely Missy Higgins, y'all. So I, I uh, over the years, I've worked with different uh, groups and different campaigns uh, to, uh, to use this moment, you know, to not always just talk about me. I figure there's a whole lot more important things than just you know, what's going on in my head. So um, on these two screens, you're gonna see some information, hopefully. I work with a group called Lock the Gate. I work with another group called Stop Adani. I know you guys all know about the Carmichael Adani mine that they wanna build the world's largest coal mine. And uh, basically, uh, you know, Australia is the largest, you know, exporter of coal. Coal is the biggest, you know, uh, contributor to ex 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 exacerbating climate change. And, uh, and so we're the biggest exporters of climate change at the moment in time, and we wanna, it seems like our government wants to kind of, uh, kind of fuel that even more. Uh, our prime minister likes carrying coal around his pocket, which is a kind of weird and kinky thing, I don't get it. And, uh, and then Bill Shorten, you know, the, the opposition leader, uh, now he's agreed to Adani as well. So if we don't, if we don't as a people, you know, uh, do something about it. And if you want to know where, we, where you stand, there's the, the one, the longest, one of the longest ever uh, surveys done in this country. It's called the Climate of the Nation. It's over a decade long. 72% uh, of Australians are really concerned about climate change. 72% think that if we do nothing about it, that's not a good thing. And 86% of you all want to get your energy not from coal and from like coal seam, fracked gas. You guys want, you guys want to get your energy from renewables. And so... Knowing where you stand as the majority here <laughs> and the, the dinosaurs that seem to be leading us in, I don't know, to Armageddon, I don't know exactly where we're going. Uh, we have uh, a civil duty, people, to look after our country and our water. Fracking is one of the most reckless and dangerous technologies ever, ever invented. You know, they drill through our water tables 
to get coal seam gas, they explode massive amounts of explosives down there to get this gas out. And then once they kind of drain all the water out and get all the gas out and pollute all the water, they, then they just put it all the way back down there again. And you get in places, you know, the rivers that are on fire, you get in massive fish die-offs. And uh, if, uh, if we don't do something about it, uh, I, I feel like it, it, it's our fault. We can't actually expect our leaders to do anything because all they, all they want to do is like either keep the resource companies happy or keep us happy. So if we're not happy, we got to fucking tell them, huh? So that right there, that right there is the least, the least, the least we can do. Okay, so if you want, take a photo of it. You don't have to do it now, but please, please, if you, like, it, it's the least you can do. Give it a shot. This song's called Ocean.
had this lovely opportunity to, when I was, when I was uh, about, oh, a, a while ago, let's put it that way, to uh, hop in a van of my own and follow this amazing, amazing band that I'd never heard of before, but you all know of them now. The Waifs, have you guys heard of The Waifs? Well, I got, to, uh, I got to support them on my first ever national tour, and I went to, uh, so we started from Perth, Kalgoorlie, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, that's where we kind of parted ways. Went up to Byron, went to Nimbin, we won't talk about that. Um, left Nimbin about, I don't know when I left, but we left it, across the border into Queensland, and like, I don't know what happened, but I got caught in some weird drug bust, um, and it wasn't, I wasn't meant to be part of it, and it confused the shit of the cops. I was just bumbling through the, the border, and all of a sudden these cops were all in like tactical response for shit and just going through my car. I'm like, I don't know what's happening right now. Anyways, they didn't find anything. I went up to Mount Isa, Darwin, crossed the beautiful Kimberley into magic country, red Pindan soil country, pulled into Broom, lovely, romantic, amazing, strong mana, small, strong country, Broom town, and I met my queen. Queen Danielle, and this song's about that. I've completely lost my manners. I just realized now I'm really glad I have. It's a good time. Can I get 
Can I get some massive props for these amazing, amazing individuals I get to make this music with? Can you give it up for G Money on drums and vocals, yo? <laughs> Mr. Byron Luders on bass, keys, and vocals. And then I pick a song that the other two are not playing in to introduce them. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> This song is exactly the opposite of how we feel about you, okay? Know that. And so now, can we give it up for these other two fantastic members of this band? Can you give it up for Mr. Ben Corbett on keys and vocals? Ms. Lars Benson on percussion and vocals. I'll eventually find my manners.
Thank you very much, folks. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. This uh, well, this one, this one's the name of our latest album. It's the title track of our album. It's called Home, and, and home is, home is a, uh, it's nice to be home. We've been away a lot over the last year. Last tour was like a three-month tour overseas. And it was, uh, it was good, but by the end, it was a bit of an ass kicker, and um, we're all looking fat forward to being back with our families and, and our peeps. And uh, this is a song about when you go, when you go, like, this is, this is awesome, but when you, when you go, and, and uh, the, it's like, it feels like a massive void that's left when you're not around your people and your family, and you guys go. Shit gets a little bit edgy at 2 o'clock in the morning when you're somewhere in Omaha watching fucking Alaskan truckers. <laughs> Shit <laughs> She gets a bit hollow feeling, you know? You're like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I here? I don't know why you'd want to talk like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that's what happens at three o'clock in the morning watching us truckers. so. This song's called Home. This song's called Home. Got the number 
on my phone But I'm too scared to call it When you're on the beach, I'm freezing On the other side of the world Living everywhere else for the place that I call home I can't find my direction to
Okay, so this one is honestly, we're honestly, this is our honest last one now, okay? And, uh, but before we go, we'd like to get another massive round of applause for all the amazing musicians who've shared the stage today. Can you give it up for Stella Donnelly, y'all? The amazing Missy Higgins! And we have a whole bunch of people who make this gig happen. Without them, we're not here, even in this place, let alone can you see us, can you hear us? So can you give it up for all our crew? Sound, lights, monitors, drums, bass, guitar techs, tour managers, production managers, merchandise, all the local crew, all the promoters, management, there's a whole bunch of people that make this happen. Can you give it up for all the crew, y'all? Last but not least, can you give it up for Mr. G Money on drums and vocals? Mr. Ben Corbett on keys, percussion and vocals. Lars Benson on percussion and vocals. Mr. Brian Luters on bass, keys and vocals. Okay, so we haven't ended on this one. Well, you know, last few years we've we've brought it back lately because because I like I like I like I like hearing you sing at the end of the night. I feel it's a nice way to end the night of all of us singing together. Y'all feel like singing? Yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. That was like that was that was that was nice. That was really nice, you know. But uh, but uh, I think I think you can do better. Do y'all feel like singing? Great, awesome. Okay, you guys are sorted. Everybody on the ground who's standing up are sorted. The people on the steps, you look a little bit comfy. You look and you sound a little comfy, which is fine. But if you're gonna sing, maybe just for a second, I'd like, just like to hear you. So everybody on the ground, just don't, don't say anything for this next one. I just wanna hear the people on the steps. Hey, y'all on the steps, you feel like singing? Okay, that was actually, I was, I'm surprised. That sounds fucking awesome. That's, that's really good. I think, by ratio, per capita, they kicked your guys' ass. Hey, 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 hey. Don't shoot the messenger. You know, I'm just telling you what I hear. You know, if you had like a bit of like, if you had a booger on your nose, I'd tell you. If you had like a bit of spinach in your teeth, I'd tell you. We're friends, we gotta do this. So I'm gonna ask all of you, and maybe we can just like, just pull it, pull, pull it a little bit more, a little bit more. To y'all, feel like singing? Mm, there you are. I want to sing with you. That, that one. Okay, it's at the back end. I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to throw it to you. Just catch it and lose your shit, okay? It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be loud. We love you very much. Take care. Peace, peace, peace. We're here with the Sea Shepherd. Lock the gate. Go see them on the way out. Peace. Thank you.